hey what's up guys this is Vikas once again back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a four step pyramid infographics in just PowerPoint so this tutorial is quite different from the previous one because you can see my hard work in this tutorial as I have worked day and night for these guys and for this you have just give me the respect by subscribing my channels and viewing my videos on the regular basis a lot of new people have subscribed my channel and watching the videos so I will never disappoint guys I will always provide this type of infographics and PowerPoint stuffs on my YouTube channel and I will also give you the free templates on my blog so keep supporting guys and let's start creating this infographics so again before starting I just want to request you the people who are watching these videos for the first time and new on this channel and please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us so guys before wasting our time let's get started so just click on the insert option here you will find a new slide option just click on that and you can see a blank option in the bottom just click on that a blank slide is added now now what we'll do is we will just create the background of this particular infographics so I'm just going to the blank slide and just click on the insert option which I have already click on that so just click on the shape option and choose a rectangle option from here just drag it over here and click on the format option and make the outline no outline like this so now what you will have to do is right click over here you can see a edit point option just click on that before edit the point I'm going to zoom in this shape and now you just have to slide this point at this position okay so I'm zooming out from here and now you can I have create one shape of these two one so again click on insert option and go to the shape option and choose a rectangle option from here again drag this rectangle over here and for now I'm just going to change the shape field to this one and make it no outline by clicking on shape outline option here you will find the no outline option just click on that to make no outline like this so just drag this red rectangle over here and I'm going to click on the first one blue rectangle just right click over here and bring to bring to front just click on bring to front like this now what you have to do is you just have to click the red rectangle over here so just I'm just clicking on that and press control from the keyboard and again click on the blue rectangle now just go to the shape option merge shape option and subtract it but before subtracting you just have to make a copy of blue rectangle by pressing ctrl D from the keyboard so I'm just I, I have already made the duplicate copy of this and for now I'm going to kept it here like this so now just go and select the red rectangle press ctrl on the keyboard and I keep pressing ctrl and select the blue rectangle over here just go to the merge shape option and select subtract option from here now drag this blue rectangle over here and the shape is ready so now what we will have to do is we have to select all these color samples which I have been using in this particular infographic so press ctrl C on the keyboard and paste it over here by pressing ctrl and V just zoom in a little bit like dragging this handle to the right like this so for this shape I have decided to fill this particular color so just click on the blue rectangle just go to the format option and just choose the shift fill option and here you will find the eyedropper option just click on that and just put the eyedropper over here and single click here on the keyboard just choose the red rectangle just go to the field shape fill option again choose eyedropper and for this 
I have decided to fill this particular color. So just click on that. Now these two steps are ready. Now it's time to create the square pyramid. So what we will do, we will just create a single pyramid shape like this. We will create this one. Let me show you how we can create these shapes. Just right click over here on the shape and ungroup it by clicking on ungroup option like this and I'm dragging it outward like this dragging it upward like this and you can see I have created one shape and duplicate it many times to get a proper result like this okay so for this shape what you will have to do is just go on the and just go to the new slides and here just click on the insert option go to the shape option and here you will find an isosceles triangle option here so just click on that and drag this isosceles triangle like this okay now go to the shape outline option and make it no outline again press ctrl and d to duplicate it and for now i'm going to change the shape fill of this particular triangle like this yellow now i'm going to zoom in a little bit just right click over the yellow triangle and here you will find an option of point just click on that now what you'll have to do is you just have to slide this particular point here like this and this point somewhere here such that it will make a 90 degree angle like this not exact 90 you can put it like this or put it like this but i'm going to put it something like this which through which it should be at 90 degree like this okay let's zoom out from here now this shape is ready so i'm just going to select all these two shapes and pressing ctrl g to group it now select the blue triangle just go to the shape fill option choose eyedropper and i am going to fill this with this color sorry i am going to choose white color for this and choose yellow triangle just go to the shape fill option and choose this light gray color for this okay so now you just have to rotate this triangle like this now what we'll have to do is we just have to create a shadow in the bottom okay so for the shadow just click on the insert option here you will find the oval shape option just click on that and drag it over here to make a oval shape just right click on that choose the format shape option and here you will find the shadow option just click on that and here you can see this particular offset center just click on that before setting shadow you just have to make the outlines no outline like this color uh, will not matter you can change the color of this oval shape or maybe kept the blue color because i'm going to send it to back so that it can be can't be visible so now i'm going to make the size of this shadow like this just go to the blur option and increase the blurness of this shadow like this just rotate it tilt it a little bit left and drag it over here just drag it over here and put this one just right click on that and send it to front bring it to front Just select all these two shapes and press ctrl G to group it and put this shape over here ok just press ctrl D to duplicate it and press ctrl and shift together and drag it inward to make it smaller just put this shape over here again press ctrl D just press ctrl and shift together and drag it 
inner world to make it smaller like this okay so now the three shapes are ready so for the middle one this shape i'm just choosing gradient fill option and i'm going to delete these two handles the type should be linear and the direction should be left to right like this so for the left handle i'm just going to choose the left handle and for the left handle i'm going to choose this color for the right handle i'm just going to choose this color sorry selection is not completed properly so again i'm going to select it like this okay so now choose this shape and again press gradient fill option the color color will automatically will fetch to here like this that's all the shape is ready now what we will do is we will just copy this shape before copy just press ctrl g to group this shape and press ctrl d to duplicate these shapes and place these shapes over here again press ctrl d and again press ctrl d okay now what we'll do is we just have to put these shapes together like this just drag it over here just drag this shape over here and just drag this shape over here and now right click over here send it to back sorry just right click over here send it to front bring it front just right click over here bring it to front just right click over here bring it to front just right click over here bring it to front just right click over here bring it to front and just right click over here and bring it to front like this now choose this particular triangle for the left handle i'm just going to select this color from the color sample and for the right handle i'm just going to select this yellow color from the color sample for this so choose this one for the left i'm going to use this color and from the right I'm going to use this color now choose this triangle and for the left handle I'm going to use this darker color and from the right handle I'm just you going I'm just going to use this lighter brown color now for this shape we have already the color samples available here so I'm just going to click on that sorry i'm just going to click on that and for the right handle i'm going to click on this not yellow but uh, this color so for this one this is the final one so i'm going to choose the color from the color sample like this and for the right handle i'm just going to use this pink color from the color sample now the color is available we just have to put i'm again going to select the handle left handle and choose this particular color like this so now we are done with the colors now it's time to add some text and the number so first i'm going to use this text number so i'm going to press ctrl c 
and I will paste it over here and for the number I have used I am using this square 721 and the size is 44 so you just have to use this one not not only this one you can use by your choice it's depend upon your choice whatever you just want to use it this is the second one I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate one more for third and pressing ctrl D to duplicate the final fourth step so I'm going to change the text like two and three and four for this now let's choose the previous slide for the text I'm just going to choose this text as well as this title and press ctrl c to copy it and paste it over here like this just put it over here and tilt it sorry let's choose the text and tilt a little bit like this tilt a little bit right like this align the text properly press ctrl d to duplicate it just paste it over here again press ctrl d paste it over here and again press ctrl d and paste it over here like this okay so final thing what we'll have to do is we'll have to add these icons to our infographics so i'm going to press ctrl c and for the icon i have already dis discussed that you can find all these icons and beautiful free icons, flat icons and vectors icons from flaticons.com. So I will definitely give the link of this particular website in the description box so that you can go check it out and download the free icons from there. Just tilt it a little bit like this. Tilt it rightward like this. And again, I'm going to tilt it rightward like this. So the infographics is completed. This is how you can create these four step square pyramid infographics, which looks really effective and creative, guys. So that's all for today, guys. This is the different tutorials. It will take a lot of time to create. So, guys, please support me, and I will always brings a lot of videos like this and give the link in the description so that you can download it from our blog without any cost so guys that's all for today see you in the next tutorial till now bye bye and thanks very much for watching this video